Welcome to the Albright Clinic. My name is Bianca Abercrombie. Dr. Albright is busy at the moment, so I will be treating you today. My brain is screaming! Okay, take six of these pills a day, with water. That will be $493.99, tax included. Thanks. Should your brain start screaming nonsense at you on a frequent basis, it is best you contact your doctor. A couple expensive pills can convince the brain to start screaming, or else. Are you done with your game yet, doctor? I still need two more levels! Are you feeling too tired to work, doctor? Need an adrenaline shot? <sighs> fine, fine, I'll get back to work. Good. I think he wants us to remove his pain. Anesthesia is too expensive. He has no money. The city government pays little for treatment to patients without money. In cases like these, we make sure to cut costs on everything. Being free of pain is a luxury these days. Bianca, darling! Mind taking out the trash? Okay. Remember, don't go down the stairs. Just throw the bag, okay? Why am I not supposed to go down the stairs? Hmm. Please come down here! Come down here, come down! Come on, come here! Come down! Fuck off. Our clinic is located on the fifth floor of a large building. The doctor says to never ever go down the stairs and to only take the elevator. Apparently, the other residents are annoying. Why are we outside, Doctor? To gather some medicinal herbs! You see those plants up there? Those plants grow on buildings where depressed people live. Okay. Good news, sir! With this injection, we will cure you of your happiness. Oh, thank you! I hate being happy! Make it stop! Happiness is pretty useless when it's constant. It could cause annoyance in those around you, permanent facial scarring, and brain damage. Plants of depression growing on apartments in sad, low-income areas can remove the happiness for good. Now only $499.99. Doctor, I want to go to a beach. Sure, let's go. Here we are! The beach! This is not how I imagined it, Doctor. He's already asleep? Hey! Come play with us, sister! The water is so nice! Get lost, brats. Capital City Beach! Come and enjoy the beautiful black water by the cold and deserted beach! No sharks can survive! Enjoy the comfortable atmosphere of a polluted and chilly tropical island 20 minutes by your door. We have created plastic ponds to straighten the atmosphere. Drinks are far more expensive than normal. Bring your wallet. Water technically not suitable for bathing. Bathe at your own risk. The world is sad and gloomy. I... I don't want to live anymore! That's no problem! Just take these pills and the world will smile at you. When will these pills start working? <laughs> this is nice! <laughs> Overwhelming sadness is a treatable disease. A few happy pills a day can turn the world from a depressing, polluted concrete wasteland designed to sap every ounce of money and joy out of you into a wonderful place where everything has a bright and happy smile. Just make sure you smile back. Words are going missing from your books? Yes! The words are missing! Let's go, Bianca! This librarian needs us! Why is this a job for a doctor? Well... 
This is why. Burn. Give me burns. Ew. Words are good. Yes, good. Words are good. Woohoo! My words. My words. Words. Give me words. Words. Words! Make sure not to kill them, Bianca. They can be used to treat dyslexia. Fine. Words are good. I love words. Give me words. Words. My words. Word worms are parasites who feed on written text. Letting them grow big can be disastrous. Grind it up, they can be used to treat dyslexia. Why did we have to take public transportation, Doctor? Always a good amount of plants of depression growing there. What are we doing here? I'm just gonna go collect some money. You can wait outside if you want. I have an appointment with the director. Right this way, Doctor. Director! Good to see you again. Welcome, Doctor. So, you want some money? We handle all your investments, whether you like it or not. Apply for a loan. It will be paid back no matter what, so no worries. Just spend as much money as you want. Here at Capital City Bank, your body and brain are worth their weight in gold. Did you bring what I asked for, Doctor? Right here. Then let's go for a walk in my garden. Bianca, would you? Okay. I want work! Where is work? I want work! Where is work? Right down here. Thanks for always doing business. You can have as much money as you want from the garden. Work, work! The Bank of Capital City grows its money on trees. These trees receive their sustenance from hard mental labor in small rooms beneath the earth, where humans are forced to press buttons for 14 hours a day. It powers the economy. Welcome to another episode of What's Your Theory? Where we interview the people of Capital City about the mystery surrounding us. Today's mystery of the day is... Why does Nurse Abercrombie from the Albright Clinic have so many band-aids on her arms? Let's go ask the people, what's your theory? Aren't those just stickers for fashion? Very logical. I heard that the doctor tests all his new drugs on her. <laughs> is that even legal? Everything she wears looks amazing on her, doesn't it? You... Didn't answer the question, lady. Ah! What the heck is that? Please, c could you t tell us why you uh, have... No. And with that, the truth behind the mysterious band-aids will remain a mystery. Join us again on What's Your Theory next time. Thank you for watching. Where am I going? A medical clinic? I wonder why I'm going to a clinic. I'm hungry. A restaurant would be better. Welcome to the Albright Clinic. I'm Bianca Abercrombie, the nurse. She's cute. Please help me. I'll pay you anything. Please just remove it! Don't worry, sir. You'll wake up just fine and normal. They're removing me? I feel sleepy. Huh? Why do I have to give it money? Well, according to Capital City Law, all surgically removed mutated consciousnesses are required to receive startup money from their previous host. Unbelievable! Wanna go to a restaurant with me? I have work. Surgically removed mutated consciousness, or MCs for short, are required to report to the Capital City Integration Office where they will be given emergency housing and ID. Voting rights and the right to own property are not available for MCs at this time. Once settled in, they are free to enter the job market or surrender themselves as meat donors. Meat donors will be given free housing and a monthly salary for one year, at the end of which they will surrender their bodies for use in surgery on humans. Doctor. Bit busy here, Bianca. What is that game? Oh, you want to know? 
This is Last Fantasy Online! Is it fun? Of course! Wanna try? First, you create your character. Okay. Done. A cat girl? Cute! What do I do? We kill some monsters and get experience points. Over there! Got it. Bianca, it's dead. What do I kill next? Now you go talk to those soldiers over there. They have coin rewards for you. Okay. She's pretty good at this game. Bianca, no! You said this game is about killing. You said they had coins for me. You don't need to kill literally everything! Good morning, Bianca. Morning. Did you see the new guy? He's so hot. New guy? Didn't see him. Look! There he is! Isn't he hot? Not really. Can I be one of your girlfriends? You're so cute! I study medicine at the CCU. And work at the clinic part-time. This is Sarah. She talks to me. Hey! Wanna be one of my girlfriends? Doctor, there's a blob of flesh with pheromones brainwashing everyone in my class. What do I do? Uh. Get back here. I need samples. My new classmate's pheromones causes people to see him as an attractive guy. I'm immune due to my vaccinations from the clinic. I'm not sure what to do about him. Ow! Stay still. So I guess this is it. You can see that I'm an ugly monster. Now you're going to find a cure for my pheromones and everyone will hate me. No. <laughs> I don't care about you being a monster. Just don't take advantage of my classmates. Got it? Got it! Besides, your pheromones might have medicinal applications. Pheromones extracted from my new classmate could be of some use at the clinic. There are many ugly but rich guys. Perhaps we could sell a cologne? Hello everyone! Did you know it's impossible to die from lack of sleep? Every time you sleep, you stop being conscious. And when you wake up, your brain creates a new consciousness. So whenever you sleep, your consciousness is erased. Don't fall asleep. TV sucks nowadays. Look, Grandpa! I made you a drawing! Oh, that's sweet of you, Bianca. Let me see. It's you and me, going to the carnival when you get better! It's a bad drawing. Sorry, Mom. Don't mind her, Bianca. Here's some money. Go get the two of us some ice cream. Okay, I'll bring you mint chocolate, Grandpa. Thank you, sweetie. Why did you do that? She doesn't need to see this. Grandpa? He's dead. What? Everyone dies. I'll die, you'll die. Don't whine about it. I hate this place. Let's leave, Doctor. Come on, have an energy drink, Bianca! Fine. This drink is very sugary. Buy me another energy drink, Doctor. You've had five, Bianca. Buy me another, Doctor. I want to kill more monsters! Let me go! It's late, Bianca. Why did you make me wear this? We're at a black market auction. Can't wear our clinic uniforms here. There are many rare medicinal wonders here! It can further my research! Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The auction begins shortly. First, we have the human spider. It's a fully functional human body, reformed into a spider-like figure by an underground scientist. 20,000! 
Thirty thousand. I hear twenty. Do you want a pet, Bianca? Thirty thousand. Don't even think about keep it. Keep them coming. We can go as high as you like. Next, we have a despair plant. A strain of depression plant which only grows in foreign military prison slave camps. Even a whiff of its poison will render you clinically insane. Fifty thousand. Did I hear right? Fifty thousand, sir? That's right. Sold! Why? Normal depression plants in small doses can be used to treat patients. But despair plants are harmful. Even in the smallest doses. Why did the doctor buy this? You brought it, Doctor? Here you go. Wonderful. A real plan of despair. Ready to smoke. Why would you smoke it? Just a small dose of a plan of despair can give you a true sense of dread and despair like no other. When the effect wears off, you'll feel a sense of relief more pleasant than any drug. It's the best feeling in the world. You and your cute nurse want to smoke with us? We're good. Just transfer the money into my account. Never touch that stuff, Bianca. Finally, it worked! I've traveled a thousand years into the future. I can't wait to see all the interesting new things. Welcome, time traveler. Here is your bill and your room. Huh? They were expecting me? What's this pill? Instead of risking human life, you can experience every pleasure capable of being transmitted into your brain simultaneously. All the while, we will keep you in a safe room. We will keep you unofficially alive until the sun burns out. But, but I love adventure. Yes, you will be given the same dopamine and serotonin as if you were on an adventure. You will be perfectly happy. I guess it's fine to try. Just for a bit. Wow, this movie sucks. Stand still! Trick or treat! Here, vitamins. Are they sweet vitamins? No, now go away. Bianca! The mutation keeps growing! Get the hacksaw! Coming. What do you want, doctor? You should smile more. Why? It would attract more customers. Trust me. Look, like this. Uh... Mercy, mercy! Stop wriggling. Another boring day. from the dead zone in Russia. Are, are we gonna be okay? Don't worry, baby. I got you. <laughs> Let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> Bianca, turn on the television! This is so exciting! We have lots of work to do. 
The West End of Capital City is popular with young people because of the coffee shops and clothing stores. Doctor? Hmm? Hey! Girl, you're not allowed here! It's okay, officer. She's with me. As you say. Why are we here, Doctor? Isn't it obvious, Bianca? We have a patient to treat. Doctor, we are ready to execute your plan. Great! Let's cure our patient. Let's go, Bianca! I need your help, too! Fine. Doctor, why haven't the police just taken it out? Brutal, but excellent question, Bianca. Killing a mutated body the size of a 10-story building will be impractical to remove. You ready, Bianca? I am, but an operation on such a large specimen will take weeks for just us. Don't worry about that. Let me show you. Everyone ready? Let's operate. Hey, you all right, buddy? Looks like he's waking up. Good morning, sleepyhead. You got close to destroying the entire district. Whoa. What? You will need to sign these forms. The total damage caused luckily doesn't exceed a hundred thousand. I don't understand. What happened? Once the host has been cut off from the mutation, the mutation begins to dissolve into a sticky goo that can easily be washed away. <laughs> that was a tough one. Doctor, why did they call you? You're a local practitioner. I owed someone a favor from my old job. Your old job? Never mind that. Let's go get some drinks! What was your old job, Doctor? My treat! I made a lot of money on this. Don't ignore me, Doctor. The experimental pill was consumed by a subject in the East District. The damages caused to the city were manageable. How has the mutation stopped so fast? I'm curious. A specialist doctor was called in. A Dr. Albright, it seems. Look into him, would you? Of course. Would you like to proceed with the next experiment, Mr. Yellow? Naturally. <laughs> Bianca, something is happening! What is it, Zara? This morning, my eyes were a bit itchy. And then, everything started looking really sparkly! Wow! Everything looks and feels like that 90s show I loved as a kid! We could be anything we want, Bianca! No. Like magical girls fighting evil and injustice! Hey, what's going on, ladies? Michaelis! You look so cool! Bianca, you should go on a date with him! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Bianca, why did you do that? She has an eye parasite. It feeds off the nostalgia in the host's brain. The nostalgia brain parasite infects people through the eyes and causes people to see things through a nostalgic filter, while it feeds off the brain fluids. Good morning, sir. Your entire life, up until this point, has been part of an advanced simulation. Due to the amount of pollution, waste, and power that a single human life requires, 99.9% .9 of the human population have been placed in experience machines such as the ones you're waking up from now. You have the diamond package, as per the contract. We make you wake up every 20 years to make sure you are enjoying your current life. If you're happy with your life, press the button and you will go back to the simulation. However, because you have the diamond package, 
You may also choose to exit and live in the outside world. Please, make your choice. This game sucks. Bianca. Yes, Mom? This is Dr. Peter Barnes. Hello, Bianca. Oh, that's the board chairman. I'll be right back. So, Bianca, did your mother tell you who I am? No. I'm your dad, Bianca. My... dad? You're... my dad? Your mom is a very smart woman. She wanted someone with her IQ and good genes to help her get a perfect child. I don't understand. <clears throat> the chairman wants to talk to you too, Peter. <laughs> How fun. Goodbye, Bianca. Mom? What is it? Is Dr. Peter really my dad? Yes. Will I get to see him again? Why would you want to see him? Don't bother strangers, Bianca. Okay. Sorry, Mom. Please. I haven't slept in 26 days. This injection will turn off your brain temporarily. We'll see if this works. So, Bianca, what do you do on your weekend? Why? I was kind of curious. Do you visit your parents? I don't have any parents. Ah, uh, it worked! I slept so well! It's only been 60 seconds. Take all of my cash! Thank you for helping me! I feel so energetic now! Sleep deprivation is a common problem in Capital City, with many people working upwards of 16 hours a day. There exist drugs to help you sleep, but generally, it's advised you try to get a natural sleep. Girl, over here. Almost there. Hi, I have a niche. Could you scratch me? Hey, don't walk away. Scratch me. I have money. Come back. Humans aren't the only mutations in Capital City. There are strange environmental mutations, too. It's best to just ignore them. Bianca, did you hear about that new energy drink? No. They say it tastes like sweet fruits and gives you crazy determination. Okay. Let's go try it after class. Mm. One for me, my friend, please. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good! Huh? What's wrong, Bianca? Sarah threw up today. Ah! Uh, no, no! This isn't possible! A bookworm? Yes! That's right, Bianca! A bookworm! Quite a terrifying creature! You must help me! I can't go back to the library with that thing in there! Why are you touching me? Don't worry, we'll take care of this. How do we deal with such a large worm, Doctor? Do we kill it? We can't use brute force on this one, Bianca. A bookworm at this size requires a different solution. Follow me. Okay. What are these tablets for, Doctor? When I say, throw them into its mouth. Now! <laughs> it stopped moving. It's paralyzed, attempting to read the entire internet. Now we can call a removal team. Bookworms have thousands of internal eyes they use to consume information for sustenance. They live off of serotonin chemicals in the brains of humans they consume. Giving them too much to read can paralyze them. Ah, you are 
so young. What do you do, young one? I practice medicine. Medicine, eh? Perhaps you can treat my illness. You see, I'm stuck in a cage. A cage of flesh and bones. My cage will slowly deteriorate. Until it kills me. Do you have any medicine for that, young one? Not yet. Oh, well, maybe someday, I suppose. We've arrived, miss. It's your doctor. The coroner's... It's coming out of the coroner's... Don't worry, I brought your medicine. It'll be okay. No! Cover it! It's okay. We just need a small sample of it. Why did those leaks only come from the corners? Hmm. Not sure. It's interesting though, huh? Although rare, there have been reports of a strange black liquid flowing from the corners of the apartment. Needs further study. Here's your coffee, miss. You're not from around here, are you? Just visiting. I think you should head home. Some weird things have been happening lately. Hmm. Doctor, I found new patients. Good job, Bianca. It'll be interesting to see what happened here. What were you doing all the way out here anyways? Visiting someone. Oh, a friend? No. Oh my god, I was looking at the wrong side! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so relieved I was able to get in on the Eternal Gaming Cafe. What? Eternal? You haven't heard about it? It's so great! They take care of your every need while you basically live your life inside a video game. What? That sounds amazing! Yeah, dude! I'm so excited! <laughs> I have so much time to do crafting now. Doctor, I'm going to check out the new gaming cafe. Oh yeah? Let me know if it's good. Welcome, young lady, to the Internal Gaming Cafe! Hello. Let me introduce to you how we do things here! Follow me, miss. This floor is for first-timers who are trying out the one-month trial. Each room is equipped with a VR helmet, a gaming PC, and a comfortable chair. How do you keep people fed? Hmm? You wanna see? We just press this button! The player is informed that he has to take his daily dose of vitamins, proteins, and fibers. Alert! Feeding commencing. Open mouth. And the system feeds him! It usually happens automatically! The human body wouldn't last with just this setup. That's true! Our setup for a long time customer is different. Wanna see? Sure. Great! Then. Follow me to the next floor. 
out of my way! Just one of our customers. Come along now. Here we are, Miss... Abercrombie. Abercrombie! A beautiful name! <laughs> oh, don't worry. Each VR helmet is equipped with a spray that simulates pleasant smells and tastes. Stagnant air causes respiratory issues. We do filter the air too. Now, come along. Here's one of our newer customers. Look at the comfort and convenience. Our state-of-the-art full VR headset gives him complete control through a simple brain implant that reroutes his nerve impulses. What's his diet like? Diet? No worries about that. This man has the nutrition package. We give him a formula at regular intervals that fulfills every dietary need. A vegetarian too. It enters his stomach through this tube here. Extra convenient. I see. In the past, to get this type of freedom, you would have to pay thousands of dollars a month. Our system makes it very affordable. Our cheapest package is just $1.99. This man has bed sores. There are beds available in the other room. It's his choice to use them. What about hygiene? We have public restrooms, but for a higher fee, we do have other options. This isn't safe. Nothing indulgent is fully safe, but we encourage you to play in moderation. How? All booths have this sticker. That was my idea, actually. What about muscle atrophy? Their muscles will waste away if you don't use them. We have an option of electro simulation. What? For an extra fee, players can have their muscles stimulated electrically. It's like a workout without the effort. Everything is taken care of. You can read about it in our FAQ folder. Isn't that to your liking? Now, wait a minute. <laughs> What is this? Ah, it appears he decided against some of our options. Now, now. If those mouth infections are allowed to remain, he'll die of sepsis. How can he not feel this? Ah, uh, well, he likely took our painkiller option. For a 50 cent monthly fee, we provide regular painkillers through his feeding tube. You can't legally prescribe painkillers. On the contrary, the Eternal Gaming Act makes it perfectly legal. We've seen to it. So, what do you think? Do you want to give it a go, miss? You can play video games for as long as you want! No other distractions will exist. Only the colorful world of your favorite game. That man won't survive. Frequent use of painkillers will cause liver damage. His weak heart could cause cardiac arrest. And the rot in his mouth will spread. If you're worried about it, you can get your teeth removed before coming. It's not like you'll need them anyway. What about body hygiene routine, medical care? Listen, miss. We don't force them to stay here. They are free to leave and visit a doctor at their leisure. We provide showers. People are free to get up and use them if they want. Don't you see? We don't restrict them in any way. We simply give them the freedom to play games forever. If they stay in their comfortable seats, then that's their choice. We exist because people choose us! You mentioned a premium service. Absolutely! Let me show you. Wonderful, isn't it?
perfect immersion, no bed sores, no hygiene issues, simply unadulterated experience. Ah, well, it does take a bit to get used to looking at, but the clients are quite happy. This place, it's... Hmm? Mentally healthy people don't choose to come to a place like this. All a matter of perspective. If someone has a bad life, why not let them live a better one here? This isn't a better life. Bed sores, tooth infections, muscle atrophy. All the people who can't afford your premium service. They're not living, they're rotting. Miss Abercrombie, which is better? Decades of despair? Or a few years of bliss. Some minimum wage workers save for years to live the rest of their lives here. I'll go to the press. Oh good, more publicity is always welcome. After all, we're still expanding. You're a monster. How about it? Would you like to get started on our trial period? I can recommend a good, cheap dentist to pull out your teeth. You look well off. Maybe we can set you up with a premium service. Just imagine it. No more working, no more cooking, no more cleaning, no more worries. Just enjoy yourself for the rest of your life. We'll let you play whatever games you want, forever! There are no limits! You, you can't do this! Let go. Ah, sorry. P please don't! I'm sorry, sir. Your car was declined, unless you have another payment method. What? what? Sir, if you won't vacate the premises willingly, we'll have to remove you. Please, you don't! No! You can't do this! I was only there six months! That's impossible! Put me back! Put me back! Please! Please! Help me! Don't let them take me away! Please! Put me back! What will happen to him? Sometimes a credit card gets declined. It will happen from time to time. I said what will happen to him. Hey, hey, relax now. We'll just put him outside the building. You'll be fine. Come back when you want to set up your subscription. <laughs> She'll be back. Yes. Here you are, sir. You can call a cab or a family member. I... I don't have any family. I can't move for a cab! Please, don't do that! Coward, please help me! God damn, he's in bad shape. Look at this jaundice, I bet his liver is in worse shit. Jesus, what have they been putting in that algae slurry they feed him? Inconsiderate assholes. Ah, Bianca! How was the gaming cafe? Stop talking to me. Oh, okay. Doctor, I'm headed home for the day. That's okay. See you on Monday. We can't help everyone. Hey, wake up, hmm? Huh? Uh, hey there, sorry. Why are you just standing here? I guess, I'm on a lot of painkillers lately. I have a toothache. <laughs> Do you want to run a dungeon with me? Then you can make a dentist appointment after. Sure, that sounds good. This is what I love about this game. There are so many nice people like you. Sorry, sir. Your card was declined. Be 
Bianca's been in a bad mood recently. Bianca fact time! How can you tell Bianca is upset? Let's take a look here. Her eyebrows become slightly more furrowed than usual. Bianca! What is it? We're going to an arcade! All you have to do is shoot the other players to win. Okay. Game start! <laughs> this is your first time? I'll go easy on you, girly! Yeah! And we have a winner! Nice job, Bianca! You did it! Didn't that make you feel better? You've been so grumpy lately. <laughs> I'm getting an energy drink. You'll be right there. And then, I told her to come back when she wants to set up her subscription. How splendid. I hear your business is going well. Huh? Oh, Mr. Yellow! Will you be ready to expand soon? Absolutely! And thank you for your initial investment. We'll set you up with funds for three more openings. Thank you! Very appreciated! So, have there been any protesters? Not really. Well, there was one girl who stopped by. Oh? Tell me more about that. This is extraordinary. It's alive. Isn't it amazing, Doctor? Doctor? What are you doing? I'm done. Done? You went along with this experiment as much as we did. With this new technology, it can finally be done. We can create a better world. Do it without me. What's your problem? This was your idea too. I had a change of heart. Doctor? Hmm? What is it, Bianca? I'm going to get more printing paper. Do you need anything? No. No, I'm good. The Yellow Corporation has protected Capital City for decades. When the mutation started, we were there, providing free medicine to cure the afflicted. When the United States economy tanked, we were there, to invest in businesses all over the country. This is all thanks to our ingenious founder, Mr. Yellow, who has dedicated his life to medical science. The Yellow Corporation, we're family. Family? Yeah. Oh, we care about getting our money. You're right. This world runs on money. Uh, are you sure, son? This is a lot of cash. I think you need medical attention, old man. I see some symptoms of early onset mutations. I have been feeling strange lately. How could you tell by only a glance? I'm a doctor after all. Thank you, Patricia. Excuse me, Mr. Yellow. Hmm? May we please have a word? It's all right. Let her pass. Thank you. I would like to ask a question. Go on. What would you like to know? Your company owns every single pharma company in this country. That's correct. So why are prices still getting higher? A single vaccination costs upwards up to $500 now. To fund our research, of course. Research into what? The drugs already work. Do you think having a monopoly on the entire pharmaceutical industry is morally right? Listen, miss. Sixty years ago, when the mutations began, the drug industry tried to cure it. There were many competing cures. Some of them worked for a little while. But competition led to rushed trials. 
and rushed trials led to medicine that was not ready. And now that we are all united under one corporation, there's no need for capitalism to interrupt our research. United under your ownership, you mean? That's correct. Just ignore it. Why? Why do you think? It's obviously not human. Every few days I'm at this platform, I hear that same cry for help. And nobody ever helps? You should mind your own business if you want to survive in this city, girl. Help me! Please! Wh what? I'm a nurse. Obviously, I'm going to help if someone asks for help. <laughs> Suit yourself, idiot girl. Please help! <gasps> you came! Thank you so much! I've been trying my luck for weeks to get help! Finally, someone came! Please follow me! It's over here! Just so you know... If this is a trick, I'll end you. Don't worry! <laughs> um, it's no trick! My friend is over here! He needs help! Okay. How much farther? We're nearly there! I never thought a human would want to help one of us! How refreshing! Here we are! How can an environmental mutation grow this big? This is my father! He is sick! Father? Help me, Hiroko! Please! I am sick! Everything hurts badly! What are your symptoms? A trap, huh? You made a mistake. What you saying? Oh. Ah! Oh, what's happening? Your body consists of bacteria and pathogens. Any normal human with a bottle of hand sanitizer could kill you easily. Please, mercy! Mercy! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you want help, then you have to promise not to attack humans ever again. I promise. Please yourself lucky you had a nearby sewer leak to wash the wound with. Just don't forget your promise. Wait! No human has ever shown kindness to us before! We want to thank you! Thank me? You just tried to attack me a few moments ago. If you ever need help, we will help you. Just say this father owes you. Come back any time! Bye! Bye! Bye, human girl! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Bianca! Welcome to your birthday party! 
It's not my birthday. Come on, Bianca, don't be shy. Your date of birth is right here on your employment contract. I just wrote something random. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Well, who wants cake? Ooh, me, me. Our father sent you a gift. Please accept it. Um... Where does everyone go? To the tower. Mother? To the tower. What tower? walk to school together? I want a bunny pillow of him. What's your Instagram? Oh my gosh, he's so hot. Hello, oh, college. Hey, yes, Why are you following me? <laughs> We're friends, right? Mutations like myself aren't allowed to attend school. She won't be teaching you for any more secret. Just keep your promise and don't manipulate people. Hmm? What? A tower. Ah, yeah. They started construction of that last week. They're really fast. It's a new all-purpose hospital by the Yellow Corporation. Oh. Oh my god, Bianca! You two walk to school together now? Are you dating? No. I work as a part-time nurse at the Albright Clinic, owned by Dr. Charlie Albright, who's a stupid guy with pink glasses. He loves video games and fooling around more than practicing actual medicine. I was told to recount the events that transpired on the day that the new professor arrived. I hate writing. Consider yourselves lucky, hospital board people. Good morning, Bianca. You look great today. Thanks. Having a good day, Bianca? No comment. You can tell when Bianca is having a good day with her eyebrows. Oh, really? Yeah, they're slightly less furrowed when she's having a good day. I see. Whoa, you're so fast, Bianca. Wait for us. That girl is always so rude. Just ignore her. Yeah, she never smiles. She's like the worst. That's not very nice. Bianca's a good person. You guys just don't know her. That's right. She might seem cold, but she's really kind. Kind? That's a lie. I wonder where Professor Larson is. He's usually not late. Who is he? So dreamy. Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Adler. I'm afraid Professor Larson has fallen ill, so I'll be replacing him. The full name is Dr. Tyler Adler. Isn't he cute? Don't you think so, Bianca? Huh? Hey, Bianca! Hey! He's so handsome. I know, right? The little mushroom mutation on his head is super adorable. Huh? 
Oh, what's wrong, Bianca? You seem more quiet than usual. It's nothing. It's probably just deja vu. That's not like you. So, any questions? I have a question. Yes, Sarah. What's with that mutation on your head? It's kind of cute. <laughs> this? It's nothing, really. Just a minor mutation I've had for a while. I thought about getting it removed, but honestly, we're all different. And if it isn't harmful, then who cares, right? I want one too! Aww, it's so cute! Adorable. Davey, Dr. Adler! <laughs> what? It's nothing. I'll see you later. Okay, Bianca. You should be careful in this city. Environmental mutations are dangerous. It's him! Dr. Adler, want to eat with us? <laughs> hey, everyone. Don't touch me. Hmm? Just ignore <laughs> her. She's always like that. Yeah, come eat lunch with us. <laughs>